All right, where we were last time is we'd created this ball fountain, um, which creates ball objects as you hold the, your mouse button down. My laptop seems, there we go. I was, I'm waiting to see if I can really slow the thing down because even though a lot of these ball objects are bouncing off the sides of the screen, um, we are continuing to move them um, and we still have to loop over them in our array. So it would be really nice if uh, we destroyed the ball objects that weren't actually visibly on the screen anymore so that that way we would keep uh, the program running quickly. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do right now. Um, let's do this. Let's go to the ball class and I'm going to add a boolean field called is alive for whether or not the ball is alive. And in the constructor, I'm going to set it to true because I want all the ball objects to start out being alive. Here's the thing though, we can set alive to be false whenever we want our other program to, uh, to remove it from the system. So let's start this way. Let's add um, public void is off screen. Or let's, let's do this, check if off screen. So what I want this to do is I want to check to see is the current ball object off the screen, and if it is, I want to set it not to be alive anymore. So I'll say if the x coordinate is less than 0, or the x coordinate is larger than 600. If either of those things are true, the ball is off the screen. So in that case, I want to say alive equals false. Oh, I called it is alive. Mm, I'm just going to call it alive. Actually, hold on. Um, you might not know this, but you can click here and hit Alt Shift R. And as you can see, when I type, it's changing it in all the spots. And then you hit enter when you're done and that'll refactor it. All right. So I'm going to set alive to be false. Cool. So now I want to check if it's off the screen all the time. So back here in fountain, um, Let's see, this is when I press the mouse. I'm not interested in that. Here's where I'm looping through all the objects and I'm getting each one out of the list and I'm drawing it and I'm moving it. Here at the same time, I want to say, check if it's off the screen. And now I want to say, if the ball is dead, I want to take it out of the list. Because if I take it out of the list, it's not going to draw anymore. So if b.alive equals false, then I want to tell the ball list to remove the ball object B. Okay, just a quick note. If you are using a for each loop here, um, this is going to give you a concurrent list modification exception. Um, I don't really want to say more about that right now. All right, so now I believe that I can just keep holding this down for very, oh, you can even, you can even see them disappearing here if you look carefully on the left and right hand sides of the screen. Let's do this. Let's give them a shorter lifespan even than that. Um, I'm going to create a, uh, I'm going to create an int variable called max steps. No, what am I going to call it? I'm going to call it um, steps alive that starts out being zero. And then each time I move, I'm going to increment steps alive. So this will count how many times has my ball moved in its lifetime. And I'm going to rename check if off screen. I'm going to hit Alt Shift R. And I'm going to call it check if dead. So I want it to be dead if it's off the screen, but I also want it to be dead if, uh, if it's been alive for too long. So let's do this. Um, if steps alive is larger than, let's say it's larger than 80, then I want alive to be false. So this should, uh, 
Every time I run move, it's going to say that I was alive one more time. And then when I check to see if I'm dead, if my total number of steps alive is more than 80, then I'll set alive to be false. And over here, it should remove that object from the list. All right, let's do it. So there you go. They're all disappearing, and that must be where 80 steps is. It's kind of interesting that that happens to be right at the apex, it looks like, of uh, the trajectory. Um, let's fiddle around with this a little more. What if we want it to be like 120? So that'll give it a chance to go down a little bit first. There we go. All right, so um, 